Hi friends, welcome back again. In this video, we are going to concentrate on static equilibrium, that is physics. So pause the video, try to get back to the subscription button, subscribe, share the videos, and comment for more. So today we have to look at this feature, which is so interest. I mean, this question, which is so interesting. The question goes like this: The system in Figure 11 is in equilibrium with the strings in the center exactly horizontal. Find A, the same tension, which is T1, T2, T3, and B, they have given us the angle. So this question is so interesting in such a way that if you are able to solve it, you'll be able to smile also. Now, we have to start by analyzing what is happening here. So I'm going to separate these two bodies by drawing their free bodies so that we should be able to answer for tensions separately. Then we are going to look at what we we'll have. Okay, so basically we are going to have this as our free body diagrams. If you check properly, I've just separated the diagrams in the middle. So you'll find that T, T2, which is tension, will be part of the first diagram and also the second diagram. So if you get back a bit to what vectors are telling us, we said if you have a vector which is oriented at a certain angle like this, then the component which is cut by the angle must have an identity of cosine. So meaning that this one is going to have cosine if you try to resolve the resultant theta. Same applies to this one who we'll have R sine theta. That is just a simple reminder. Same applies to these two diagrams. The method I'm going to use here is very simplified in such a way that you'll be able to have all the answers correctly and accurate. Now, if we analyze it properly, if we have the angle located at this point based on the diagram, we also have another angle located at this point. So what we are going to notice here is it's more like you have a diagram like this one. The axis which has been cut by the angle is carrying cosine. So if you try to resolve this one, meaning that this axis is the one which is going to have cost. Let me try to, to do this like this. So you understand that if you're trying to resolve this one with reference to the angle which is here, this must have a cosine. It's just one and the same as the diagram which is located on top here. Same applies to this one. If you do this, you'll find that one, um, one identity must have, I mean, one component must have cosine, which is going to be this one. Or if you do this, you put it like this, you'll find that if you are trying to resolve this one with reference to the angle, this axis must have a cosine. Now, since this is a static equilibrium question, meaning that all the forces are supposed to be balanced, so summation of forces in x-axis and summation of forces in y-axis are going to be balanced. We are going to use the same thing as the summation of forces in x-axis has to be equated to zero because all the forces are balanced. Then how many forces do you have in the x-axis? Basically, we have this one and that one. Meaning that what I'm going to do, I'll say T2 has to be equated to, say T2 has to be equal to T1 sine 35 degrees. Then you have to look at what you have in the y-axis. The forces in the y must also be balanced. So we are going to have the summation of forces in the y supposed to be equated to zero. So you say, how many forces do you have in the y? We have this one and that one based on the first diagram if you try to resolve it. Remember, I'm doing this. All the forces must be pointing away from the object. So T2 will be part of this diagram. And that diagram so here it has to point to the right hand side there it will be pointing to the left hand side so i'm going to have t1 cos 35 equate this one to 40 as simple as that just from these two equations i think it will be very simple for you to find what t1 is why because we have this comma thing already meaning that what we are going to do if you want to find t1 just divide throughout by cos 35 you divide by cos Five as simple as that. Then you punch this on the calculator. You punch this on the calculator. You say 40 divided by sine. Is it sine or cos? Sorry, it has to be cos 35. So we are getting 48.8 .8 newtons or 83 newtons. That has to be my team one. So T1 is going to be 48. 
0.83 newtons. As simple as that. Well simplified. You come to T2. I think even T2 now can be found. How are we going to get our T2? I'll say T2 has to be equal to. Your T1 has already been found which is 48. 0.83. Then you say sine 35. You try to punch this. 38.83 sin 45 sorry sin 35 what answer are we getting we are getting 28 newtons meaning that t2 is going to be equal to 28 newtons as simple as that the best method to handle this has to be the same one we can use the theorem if you are interested still more the answers are going to be the same i come to the second diagram i'll do likewise i'll say the summation of forces in the y summation of forces sorry in the x has to be equal to zero so how many forces do you have in the x-axis let me put t3 there how many forces do you have in the x-axis basically we have two forces so the one which is moving to the right hand side has to be equated to t2 okay so we are going to have t3 sine theta has to be equated to t2 We'll also do likewise by saying summation of forces in the y has to be equated to zero so i'll say the one which is moving upward has to be equated to the downward force and we are going to have t3 cos theta has to be equal to 50. we have two equations do you know that we can combine these two equations but you need to know that t3 has already been found i mean t2 has already been found which is 28 so we are going to have t3 sine theta equal to 28 so i have the first equation the second equation it's possible we can combine these two equations it's possible we can combine these two equations how are we going to combine these two equations okay so you can make t3 the subject of the formula from whichever equation if you make t3 the subject from this equation we are going to have t3 equal to 28 over sine theta then what you have you can try to replace on this part i'm saying like what you have you can replace on this part or in other ways let's try to make this one the subject of the formula to simplify things why because we are interested in coming up with a certain identity which is going to give us the answer easily okay let me try to make this one the subject t3 has to be equal to 50 divided by cos theta okay so meaning that now what you have somewhere there you can take it on this part so that we can have 50 over cos theta multiplied by sine theta equate this one to 28 if you multiply this and that we are going to have 50 sine theta over cos theta which is going to be equal to 28 what identity are we going to come up with on this part we are going to come up with tan so meaning that we can have 50 tan theta equate this one to 28 you divide by 15 divide by 15 meaning that theta is going to be equal to an inverse of 28 over 50 so your theta there is going to be equal to what what angle are you going to have you say shift turn 28 over 15 we are getting 29.2 29.2 degrees has to be our angle theta we can get our t3 now we can get our t3 based on this one we say t3 has to be equal to 50 over cos theta so i'll say t3 has to be equal to 50 over cos 29.2 just punch directly to give you the answer okay divide this by cos 29 sorry 22 57.3 so we are getting 
53 as 57.3 newtons therefore t1 is equal to 48.8 newtons t2 is equal to 28 newtons t3 is equal to 57.3 newtons and theta is equal to 29.2 degrees that's how you find these three different um, components that you've been given thank you very much for watching try to share comment and subscribe to the channel